Hey everyone, my name is Taylor and welcome to the Spittin' Knitting Podcast. Knitty girl? Knitting vlog? I don't know. My sister just made fun of me for calling it a podcast last time because she said you can see things. It's just a video. I was like, okay, well, I don't know. This is what we call it. So yeah, please uh, feel free to follow me on Instagram at smitten.knitting or on Ravelry at Behinds42. Um, and those will all be in the description box below. Everything that I mentioned today will be in the description box below, and you can also find all of my projects over on Ravelry. Okay, so let's get into it. And once again, I have a new phone, but once again, my other hat is on the cat tree, kind of like going crazy with this little thing that's dangling off of it. So we'll see what happens with that. I'm sitting on my nose, not as many notes today. I have a lot less stuff to show you. Um, so first and foremost, let's go over um, finished objects. My first finished object is my giant granny square scrappy stripe blanket. This thing is massive. Um, I keep it on my queen sized bed. I sleep with it every night. It's been really great because me and my boyfriend get very hot when we sleep in the same bed so it's nice for us to we've got we have a quilt now and this and this is really nice especially because like all of the like little holes it's very like temperature regulating <laughs> so it's definitely really nice it's super super cute i love it it's all acrylic yarn um i actually just threw it in the wash yesterday and it was great oh completely forgot to tell you guys i'm wearing my rug sweater by chinko Junko Okamoto. Yeah, I made this last year and I absolutely love it. Okay. But yeah, I love a giant blanket. My next finished object is, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this one. I've been wearing it like nonstop. It is the Jewel Sweater by Caroline Tild, Caroline Tild. Um, it's knit out of Knit Picks Palette and Camel Heather and Forest Heather and knitting for olive, soft silk mohair and nut brown and bottle green. It is just absolutely stunning. I'm gonna do what Kat from Heather and Hops does and do this. Um, yeah, I... I love this. It is so soft. I think the colors are just perfect. And like I've never been happier with a yarn combination like in my life. I'm so happy about how this turned out. There's not that many sizes for this. I think there's like four, five. No, oh my God. I think there's only two sizes for this. Yeah, there's only two sizes. So it's definitely not size inclusive, but um, I mean, it, you can definitely adapt the pattern to make it bigger for you or smaller. Um, but yeah, it's not a very size inclusive pattern, but it is a really awesome pattern. So, I mean, I definitely recommend checking it out, but it might not be for you, which, you know, that can be okay too. Okay. So from the leftovers, from that sweater, I made my boyfriend an Oslo hat mohair edition by Petite Knit um, out of the forest heather and the bottle green mohair. Um, yeah, I made a size, an adult medium, and I actually felt like it was getting too long, so I started like decreasing faster. Um, but yeah, he loves it. He's not really a beanie guy, but he really likes it, and it looks really good on him. So yeah, that's awesome too. The next item is still wet. <laughs> I started blocking it yesterday. Um, it is the champagne cardigan um, by Petite Knit. It doesn't have um, its buttons yet, but I'm gonna be putting black buttons on it. But this is it. I'm gonna be careful that it's still drying. Um, but yeah. It's beautiful. It's really great. Um, I, this is knit out of Drops Lima 
and drops um, Kid Silk Mohair hair in, both in the color off-white. Um, yeah, honestly, I'm not like a cardigan person. I love cardigans, don't get me wrong. I just don't really like knitting them because I don't like knitting back and forth that much. And when I heard about this pattern, I mean, I heard so many wonderful things about it, but mostly people were complaining about the button band, like the double knitted button band. And they're like, it took so long. Uh, and a lot of people weren't really a fan of it. I loved it. It was my favorite part of the entire cardigan. Like I loved, I loved knitting that part. So yeah, I mean, it's a good pattern. It's beautiful. You can't really go wrong with petite knit. Am I right? Okay, I'm gonna be careful with this because <laughs> it's still wet. <laughs> okay. The next thing um, is a gift. We're going into a lot of gifts now. Actually, I think the rest of what I have is gifts for Christmas. And I decided, or for my birthday, for my sister, because I'm a twin. Um, I thought I was going to save all this stuff until after Christmas, but I just decided like, what's the point? My sister's the only one who watches it anyway, and she's about to be home anyway. She's coming home tomorrow, so our birthday is in two weeks, so she's going to get it anyway. So maybe I'll just tell her not to watch this until then. Caitlin, just don't watch it till then, please, and thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. The next thing is the kitty cat sweater by, who's it by? I can't remember and I forgot to write it down, but I'll, it'll be in the description box below. Um, but it's knit out of drop snow and it's this huge, <laughs> it's like the ultimate ugly Christmas sweater in a way. I love it personally. I think it's so hideous that it's amazing. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? <laughs> we are big cat people and my sister has a gray cat that um, she takes everywhere. His name is Wiz. Uh, follow him on Instagram. He's super cool. Um, he's a little harness cat. and Yeah, definitely check him out because he's a super cool cat. And I think he's coming to stay, which is really cool. My sister lives in Arizona, so she flies from Arizona with Wiz, and it's just super cool. So hopefully I get to see my nephew tomorrow, too. So, yeah, that'll be super fun, but yeah, so I wanted to make her little kitty cat sweater with, like, Wiz's face on it. It looks nothing like Wiz, but, you know, it's the idea. And it's also great because, you know, she lives in Arizona. She doesn't really have a lot of, like, super warm clothes anymore. So this would be great for when she's here. She has a big, wool, warm, ugly kitty cat Christmas sweater to enjoy. And I can't, cannot wait, cannot wait to see her in it. I did make the collar longer just because I didn't really like how the collar looked on all of the sample pieces. Um, so that's really the only adjustment I made to this. Oh, I also did add some German short rows to the back at the bottom here, just because I feel like all sweaters should have German short rows or some sort of neck shaping on them. So yeah. One other thing about this sweater, um, first of all, my embroidery skills are zilch. They're bad. Um, but I thought I had a darker gray. I used some leftover yarn from something else for this. I think this is like Drops Levi. I think that's from my Christmas sweater. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It, I had to put a, the darker green around it because you couldn't really see because the light gray and the light, light green were just like too similar. It wasn't high in, enough of a contrast. So that's why there's that awful embroidery around it. But I feel like it kind of adds to the charm. The next thing is socks and a lot of them and I'm not even done with knitting socks it's crazy um, my family's getting socks for Christmas um, which is really fun I've never knit everyone in my family a gift for Christmas before um, 
So I only have two finished pairs at the moment. I did have three, but um, I had a loved one who was in the hospital this past week. And so I gave them some socks that were originally supposed to be for another family member, but I was like, nah, they'll fit and they'll like them. And I just wanted them to have some sort of comfort while they were um, in the hospital. So yeah, these are the old reliable top-down socks by, by Tannis Lovely. Um, it's just a little basic vanilla uh, sock pattern. Um, all of these socks are made out of Drops Fable. Um, I'll put all the colorways down in the description below and you can also find it on Ravelry. Um, so these are for my mom. <laughs> and I think they're so cute. So cute. I love them. And what I love about vanilla socks is that they're so customizable, especially with the yarn that you choose. Like these look like they took me forever to make, but it's literally just like patterned yarn. Um, and you can do different lengths for the legs and for the cuffs and everything. And I just love how customizable socks are. So they're great. I know my mom is gonna love these. These are for my boyfriend. I did a shorter cuff on these. Um, yeah, like they're awesome. They're his favorite colors. He's gonna love them. I just think they're amazing. I need to still wash and block these. These have been washed. Then the last two finished objects I have are hats. They're for my boyfriend's family for Christmas. Um, one of them is wet, still blocking. Um, so this is it. It's so pretty. It's the, um, the classic cabled hat by Destiny Meyer. And I think it's gorgeous. This is also in drop snow. It's leftovers from my sister's sweater. Um, yeah, this is for my boyfriend's mom. Um, so I think she'll love this super pretty. So this is like half blocked. It's like a little wet. So I'm after this, I'm going to go throw them back on the blocking mat under a fan. This one is unblocked. It's the same thing, just unblocked. So I don't know if you can see the difference. It's definitely the power of blocking right here. Isn't that crazy? But it's the same exact yarn, just different colors. Um, this one. I did change the pattern a little bit. Um, the other one you alternate when the cables cross over. I just had them all go at the same time for this one. And I, I like it. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the next one because I do have a third one for my boyfriend's sister. This is for his sister-in-law. So I do have a third one on the needles and I don't know if I'm going to do what I did with this one or follow the pattern, but we'll see. Speaking of which, this is it. <laughs> this is that hat. Yeah, we're on to whips now. Um, yeah, it it's a free pattern on Ravelry. Um, so yeah, super duper easy, super quick. I made two of those hats yesterday. And I also cleaned my house <laughs> and finished two, two hats. So that was great. But yeah, I love this. It's super quick, super easy. It's awesome that I'm able to make these adorable hats with just scraps. Um, yeah, so probably going to finish this tonight. It's going to not take any time at all. Next is half of a sock or not half of a sock, half of a set of socks. This is a sock for my brother. And I think he'll love it. Nothing else to really talk about. I'm just knitting everybody the same socks in the same yarn, just in different colors. So one left of these. And then this one is a little different. This one is for my sister. I made her 
shorty socks. I haven't kitchenered the toe yet. But yeah, same um, pattern. I just made it short. So I just did 10 rounds for the ribbing, 10 rounds for the leg, and then I just went straight into the foot. So, you know, originally it was her socks that I gave away and I did it with this yarn and I didn't end up having enough to um, make a full other full socks. And I was like, well, she lives in Arizona. What is she going to wear more? Shorty socks or like the super long mid calf socks? So I'm like, obviously these. So I think this is going to be a better gift for her anyway. So I started the second one today. I don't have a lot on it, but I did. I think I did finish my 10 rounds and I'm about to move on to. Oh yeah, because I did split. So I'm about to move on to the heel and the heel flap and gusset and all that stuff. So yeah, and the black from this is actually the black from my, for the toes and cuffs for my brother's socks. So yeah, I think that's gonna be great. I think this color is called Emerald City, but yeah. You can tell my sister really likes green, <laughs> but also I really like green. A lot of stuff I've made is green, so. Okay, um, I forgot about this one, so I had to go get it real quick, but I am like a blanket girly right now. So I'm crocheting another blanket, another scrappy blanket. So what I'm doing, um, I don't know how many stitches are on here. I just kind of went through it for it. But more of a throw blanket than like a full bed size blanket for this one. Um, so how I'm doing this is I'm just taking a bunch of scraps. I'm using a six and a half millimeter um, hook and I'm holding, I am holding two strands of yarn together at a time except for this blue part right here, because that was just the thicker yarn. So I'm going to alternate between holding multiple strands together and holding like thicker yarns together. And I'm doing half double crochets and I'm just switching when I run out of yarn. And I think it's going to be a super fun blanket. I don't know what it is about me and blankets right now, but I finished that granny stripe blanket and I immediately cast this one on because I was like I need a blanket even though I have two other blankets but I need I feel like I just need something that I can just crochet like front and back for when I'm like really just don't want to think about anything so yep this is just my scrappy stripey chunky blanket and I think it's going to be awesome and then the final whip that I have is my A Christmas Story sweater, which was originally the A Christmas Story dress by Cisco Salvakibi. Um, I haven't done much with this because I've mostly been working on Christmas gifts, but I did get a little bit of the sleep done. Um, I, you know, I have almost three weeks to finish it. So I'm not too worried about it. I just have the sleeves to go. I'm uh, everything that I'm knitting up for everyone for gifts has been going really fast. So yeah, I think that'll be great. Okay, well now I am actually going to go on to acquisitions. So if you don't like acquisitions, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Um, and if you love acquisitions like I do, around a little bit okay the first thing I have is actually not really new <laughs> I've had it for like a month now but it's a bunch of wool of the Andes from knit picks in the color amber heather and my plan for this is to make um an Ingrid sweater or a Moby sweater by Petite Knit. Um, I haven't really decided yet. I think I'm gonna make the Ingrid sweater though. So 
just because I've just been so obsessed with it. But at the same time, I'm like, do I want it in a cream instead of a brown? So I don't know. This might be used for something completely, completely different. But I just think that's a beautiful brown. I really like it. So I love, I love heathered yarn. I think heathered yarns are my, some of my favorites. Okay. So yeah, this will be a sweater at some point, probably after Christmas. Actually, probably as soon as I'm done with all of my Christmas knitting, <laughs> I'm going to buy a pattern and cast on. And then I have the Fangirl Fiber Taylor Swift four day advent. So every Saturday leading up to Christmas, I get to open a yarn. So this was, this was supposed to be a sock set. So a large skein and a mini skein. Emily had a little oopsie, forgot to um, send us the mini skeins. So she is dyeing them and sending to them, them to us soon, which is no big deal. Um, I'm sure some people are really upset about it because people like to knit their socks like once a week um, for advent for their advent knitting but I'm too busy to do advent knitting anyway so it was no big deal for me. Um, so this is Cardigan by Fangirl Fibers. It is so so soft. I love it. It is um, an 80-20 uh, superwash merino. I don't really work with superwash. The first time I've ever worked with superwash is with the Drops Fable for these socks. Um, and this is way, way softer than Drops Fable. It's kind of incredible how much softer it is. I'm really, really excited to make some socks with this. Um, as soon as I'm done with all of this stuff, I'm probably going to. Yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cast on these socks for myself and a sweater for myself. Except maybe I'll do a sweater first because I'm, I might get socked out because I have two socks to finish and then I have two sets of socks to cast on. So, yeah, but whatever. And then the very last thing, also from Fangirl Fibers are these cute little, um, oh no, I dropped one. They're these cute little stitch markers. They're adorable. And these also came in the Taylor Swift advent. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Well, I think that's it for me today. Oh, hold on. I actually have these right next to me. They're a bunch of newborn hats. Um, I was just trying to use up some stash and I was thinking I was going to donate them to a hospital and I just haven't done it yet. I feel like three is like a weird amount of hats to donate. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna hold on to them until I make some more and if someone has a baby in the meantime you get a baby hat so you know if you have a baby hit me up i'll give you a hat yeah okay well that is it for me today i hope you all are having a wonderful december so far i'm very excited my 21st birthday is exactly one, I mean, my 21st, oh my God, how old am I? No, my 25th, <laughs> my 25th birthday is exactly one week before Christmas. So in two weeks about, I will be 25. And the day after that, my boyfriend will be 28. So I love the holidays. I, I love December because it's just three weeks of straight like parties. It's three weeks of straight fun. I hope you all are enjoying the holidays as much as I am. I hope you're all enjoying vlogmas as much as I am. I refuse to participate in vlogmas, but I love to watch vlogmas. I don't want you all to look into my life that much just because it's not interesting. I just sit at a desk all day, so. <laughs> anyway, 
Um, yeah, let's not quote and say hi to you. This is Olive. Hi, baby. Say hi. Yeah. Okay. It's her dinner time. She's hungry. Um, woo! <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope you're having a happy December, happy holidays, and I'll see you next time. Bye!